Hi folks, this is Bart Valchak from creativeimpatience.com and today I will show you how to do a simple vignette on the overblown footage using uh, CI vignette a filter that I created some time ago. As you can see, this footage is overblown here and it's reflected here on the RGB parade. Fortunately, you can recover some of this information from the super whites by lowering the overall output level. And I have created a few presets to that occasion, and in this case I will use FCC 215, which will lower the output value from 255 to 215. And it brings a little bit of the details in highlights. Uh, obviously, it's not going to do miracles if the information is not there. It's still overblown and it draws the eye from this guy to this place. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to change the focus. And the easiest way to do it is to actually apply a vignette uh, around the person. Let's find the vignette filter, apply it. As you can see, everything went dark, uh, but don't worry. Click on the effect name, it summons the GUI. The corners you can use to resize. This control is for rotation, so let's rotate it a little bit. When the vignette is rotated, the feathering controls will act a little bit erratic, but you can find your way around it. And this slider here is the opacity slider. You can regulate the amount of vignetting. Somewhere around here is OK. To select the filter to take a look, I think it looks fine. Just play it. Of course, you'll drop frames because this filter requires some heavy computation and is not yet CUDA accelerated. But as you can see, I think the effect is much better than you would have without both adjustments. So FCC. 215 and vignette to focus the attention on the protagonist. So it's an easy way to apply the vignette using the GUI. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to visit www.creativeimpatience.com for additional tutorials and plugins for Premiere Pro. Thanks, goodbye.